Virgo, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for mid-September 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Virgo. Nice. Not nice. Ah, oh, man. Nice and not nice. That's what you get. First it's nice, then it's not nice, then it's balanced, then it's eh, then it's good, then it's so good, and then it's oh my god. <sighs> Don't you just love energies? Um, the overall energy for the reading. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. Stability. It does kind of come in as a, you know, I mean, every kind of relationship, and every kind of structure or marriage or long-term situation kind of has those ups and downs all the time right so it's about something in regards to your foundation possibly starting off the reading the ace of cups crossed by the five of cups there is love here it's just kind of shadowed by some pain something that happened in the past I'm not sure if it happened within the same situation or something that you're carrying um it's not that you're not seeing the love, you're feeling it. At times it feels like it's being shadowed somehow. Because here comes your pain that's kind of like uh, taking more energy out of you than, you know, and not allowing you necessarily to see the love that is here. Um, in the In your focus here, the Justice card, trying to keep yourself balanced, trying to keep a sense of groundness, a sense of everything's going to be fine, you know? Um, in the recent past, the Page of Swords, there's not much initiative here in this card. There's like the desire to maybe, maybe do something, but there's not that oomph to it, you know? There is a little bit of something there, though. In your strength, the Magician. You can manifest things. If you're finding yourself in this balanced place, which you're trying to achieve, you can actually manifest a lot of things. You're pretty good at that, you know? This is kind of like tied up to you in terms of energy um, as a Virgo. In the immediate future, you get the Ace of Swords. Action, action, maybe, or the desire to take action towards something. We'll see, maybe that Page of Swords is gonna grow into something more. Um, Supporting this reading, the sun, happiness, that's the goal, that's the ultimate goal, that's where you want to reach, right? Because all, all of us do. Um, but this is what you're fighting for right now, which is telling me that maybe some energies that are not that happy are kind of trying to take over and you're like, no, fuck off, I want to be happy. So uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the seven of cups, options, you have options. When you fall into a place that's not feeling quite good, we don't see any kind of options. We don't see any exit doors. We don't see anything. We're like, no, no, no. I feel in the same way. I don't feel anything more than what I'm feeling now. And I don't see a way out of this. But there are options. They're just in the hidden energy here. Um, in your hopes and fears, Ten of Swords, you're scared that something might come to an end. You're scared that... You're gonna lose something, you're scared that you're gonna fail at something possibly, the potential outcome, the Nine of Swords. There's a little bit of pain here. Um, if you are indeed carrying this fear of losing something, remember what I told you, you're a pretty powerful manifester. You can manifest your fears, you know? The more you run away from them, more of the universe kind of picks up on that and it's like, oh, uh, hold on. Is Virgo running away from something? Hmm, what is it, fear? Oh, okay, well, let's give it to them. You know, let's see, let's see what, what, what can they do about it? What, what, you know, if they fear this and it'll happen, let's see how they react to it. 
Because how will you? I'm curious. If your fears do come to fruition. Like, how would we... Because I feel like we fear these things. And then if they do happen to us. Well, first of all, we may feel like... Eh, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought. And second, you would deal with it, right? It's just that you're being put on the spot. You're not running anymore. Hmm. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles here. The Temperance card, the Chariot, the King of Cups. Beautiful energy. You've got love here. You've got things happening. And they didn't just happen overnight where, oh, Virgo, here's this package deal of love, acceptance, patience, everything you can possibly want. Here you go take it and you took and that's that no i feel like it was built over time there's something here you do have something stable now i don't know if that's um marriage a partnership with someone a um, um, romantic relationship it, it could even be a friendship but it's based on support love patience you know i see effort i see time being put into it um so i don't know why this is showing up but it's obviously quite important to you at this time, this foundation you have in a certain situation. Let me see that Five of Cups over there. The Justice card, the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay. So you do want to work on this aspect of something that's dragging you down. I feel like something happened and it's placing you into this energy that's not feeling good at all. It's feeling sad, it's feeling regretful, it's feeling like you're going through a loss or something. It's, it's, it's just not feeling good. And I see you attacking this, attacking in a good way, attacking in a way of let's, let's try to fix this, you know? So the intentions are good. The Justice card does a lot. So it's finding that place of balance within yourself. When you forget about your emotion, reminding yourself that you do have emotions, and bring them out when you forget about your logic remind yourself which hmm, most people don't so let's just stick to the first plan uh for the justice card you get the death card the sun the ten of wands speaking of which um Things are falling into place for you um, and things are happy. I'm getting a sense that you're not seeing that fully. Um, again, there's something shadowing the, these good energies that are coming in for you. So you have love, you have happiness, you have a whole bunch of good things. Something is standing in the way of that. And I feel like you're starting to see the happiness that surrounds you. But it's really, really, really hard to see and stay in that in that place of seeing it. What is it? What is it that's blocking you from seeing it, recognizing it? You tell me, Virgo, because you're a Virgo. You're a Virgo. What's blocking you? Let's do the magician. For him, nothing. Uh, two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords. See, but when you're manifesting from this place, it's not the best manifestation. Um, you're manifesting from a place of unsure, of... Well, first of all, you gotta be clear about what it is that you're trying to manifest. So let's say you're wanting to manifest you seeing happiness, right? Um, you have to be clear around, are you not seeing happiness? Is it there and you're not seeing it? Are you missing it? Once you figure that one out, that gives you a little more clarity about this topic that you're trying to manifest, right? So whatever it is that you're dealing with and trying to manifest, please get clarity about it. Because manifesting from this place of confusion, icky, icky. And that is the opportunity for the universe to bring to fruition your own fears, indecisions, not knowing. I don't know. You know? Uh, let's do the Ace of Swords in the immediate future. Two of 
Two of Cups, the Empress, the Six of Swords. You want something, you want someone, possibly. There's an energy here that's very beautiful, again, that shows up around you, right? There's love, there's empowerment in this energy. This could even be you chasing the potential of you, you know? Um, or it could be somebody tied up to you. Hanging on to certain energies of confusion, fear, indecision, all of those things create some sort of a vibration for you that kind of creates this whole, even though I want this person or I, I love this person or whatever kind of good emotions I have for them, all of this cloud that I'm forming on top of my head here is kind of driving them away. It's kind of pushing them away, you know? So I kind of feel like that's what's happening. Even though your desire is here, the action is not much in here to go grab them and hold on to them. The desire is here inside of you. But then that cloud over there that's forming from all sorts of... Hmm, shadow, shadow. I keep getting shadow. I don't know why. You're being shadowed. Something is it's like a veil that's not allowing you to see, to feel the um, the happiness here, the love that you do have. So that cloud could be pushing away, or you feel like it's pushing away the, the good things. Um, let's do the sun. Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles. You're looking too much. It's right in front of you and you're looking too much. You're looking to the side of it. So you, uh, picture it like this, because I see you here standing in front of a thousand options, right? That could make you happy. They all have the potential to make you happy. And the one that actually is making you happy right now is right there in front of you. And you're kind of looking at all of these, uh, like a little kid that gets distracted, you know? Show them a candy or whatever you want, I don't know. They get distracted, they're like, ah, uh, I could go with this one or this one. But I want them all, but this one is right here. It's right here. You're blocked from it. God damn it. I hate when this happens and there, there's a subtle kind of energy that's popping up and I'm like, come on, where is it? What is it? Show up for me. Let's do the Seven of Cups in the Hidden Energies. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands. Something is happening. Um, it's taking you off balance. I don't know what it is. There's something particular in your life that's happening. Um, that's creating a little bit of a stressful kind of energy for you. A little bit of your energy is going in that direction and it's giving a lot of you over there instead of being with what's in front of you. Uh, now, I don't know what it is and it could be different for a lot of you. You could be dealing with something very stressful, yes. Um, but that kind of takes you away from, or it kind of doesn't take you away because I don't see this going anywhere. So it's not like, oh my God, you're going to lose this. I don't see it happening like that. I see you losing sight of what's important still, because there's always things that, that are going to happen that are not necessarily positive. And if we give more power to those things, we could lose the good things in our life. You know, we could push them away. So I kind of see something like this happening here. For the Ten of Swords, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Page of Wands. You're actually very scared of losing this. And it's interesting because um, it seems like you're um, the one in charge for that cloud, you know? Is that cloud going to form some water and rain over you or is it going to move away? And is it going to let the sun shine through? It's really up to you. For the Nine of Swords in the potential outcome, you get the Six of Cups, the Magician, the Eight of Swords. You're not understanding why your manifestations are not coming to fruition. Um, if you're trying to manifest from a place of fear, insecurity, doubt, assumptions, ego, desires based on expectations, uh, control, all of those, or one of those even, uh, manifestation is not going to work out. 
It's got to be from a balanced place within yourself. Um, where there are no expectations, where um, you just want something because it matches you to some extent. So if you're finding yourself in a place of confusion and really, really busy up here, manifestation is not going to work. And especially fear of something. Let's um, pull some cards from the universe. The Devil card, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Okay, that's a good energy. Because I feel like this is your pattern here that's showing up. You know, stressing about things. And when things are stressful enough, you're going to pick them up. Those things, you're going to put them up in your head. And you're going to create this whole scenario around that that gives you a hundred more stories about what could happen to the situation you were just dealing with. Um, this, it seems like you're stepping away from this, you know, it's coming in as a pattern. So maybe that's what's happening right now. Maybe you're starting to break through, through that curtain, that invisible shadowy curtain, because it's here and I see you seeing it, but you're not fully seeing it yet. The happiness, the love. And that happens because you're up in your mind a lot. But again, it's coming in as a pattern and it's coming in as you possibly walking away from this pattern. Not that you're not ever going to be in your head again about things, but you may start to recognize it. You may start to be like, oh, wait a minute. I'm stressing about this thing. Hold, hold on. Let me, let me, let me get myself out of my head for a little bit, you know, because you can be the observer of your own mind. You don't have to participate in that. So, let's uh, pull a Oracle card from the Sacred Traveler. To close it off for you, let's see if we can find some uh, final advice from a Oracle card here. You get fellow travelers. Support is all around you. Again, support, love, happiness is here. You just have to see it. And you have to reach out for it. You know, especially if you need support. Um, but it is. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.